Welcome in the Hague. Welcome in the Hague. Welcome in the Hague. Did I say that right? Yeah, welcome in the Hague. Yeah, see? My Dutch is coming along quite well, I must say. But this is the Hague, which is the Netherlands' third biggest city. It's a city of regalness, of bureaucrats, of royalty, of big government. But it's also a very multicultural, international city, and we're here to explore all about it. Ooh, this place is so beautiful. Let's see. It's where the parliament is. Oh, it's just in here? Yeah. And these gates are the parliament? That's the uh, Binnenhof. Yeah. And that's where you can see the people from the government sacking. Oh, weekday. including the prime minister. Including the prime minister. Oh, that's cool. This is also very good tower. This tower, right? Oh, right there. Yeah. Right here on the Wait, so I thought Amsterdam is the government. Yeah, but not the government. Ah. Right. Uh, This whole area kind of reminds me. Well, this is what I picture if Hogwarts was Dutch. Like if there was a Dutch Hogwarts for little Dutch kids, a wizard and witches. This is what the school would probably look like. <laughs> no? Yeah. But go here on a weekday, you, know, you can see the uh, people from the government. You can do tours. It's very oh, okay. Yeah, and not so much I... on the weekend. So pretty. You know? But I want to see the politicians riding their bicycles. <laughs> That's the most thing. This side has the second chamber in it. This, the, this building right here? Yeah, where the general debates happen between the 150 members of the... so much pressure for me to be like Dutch <laughs> tour guide. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the right English word. Yeah. For all the different parties to be. Yeah. Yeah. How many parties... Also the opposition. Uh, well, how many parties are there in the Netherlands? Uh, four. Well, ten. Well, there's ten? There's 150 seats. Okay, because in America, there's Republicans and yeah, Democrats. Yeah, we have two parties. Okay. And in Canada, we don't have a two-party system either, but there's basically two parties, liberals and progressive, conservative. <laughs> but then there's the Green Party, there's Bloc Quebecois, and all the other parties. But ten parties in the Netherlands? Yeah, but it's including the opposition parties. Right. So when I become Dutch and I start to learn about all these political parties, I only vote for one party, right? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, what is this? This stuff underneath the inner cell. The what? The inner cell. But that's the church, right? No. Uh, oh. This is the chamber it's of a secrets. It's a nice chamber. <laughs> chamber of secrets. Ooh, beautiful little miniature of the Hague. I think this is the King's Line lineage. It goes all the way down to the current king, Willem Alexander and the Queen Maxima. So wait, that isn't a church? No, this is a village hall. That's where uh, uh, they do the yearly uh, speech by the king and also that's after the presentation of the finances for the upcoming year. Yeah. And also where they have the famous Witches Dag, which is the Heads Day, uh, which is on the same day where all the women are wearing uh, heads, and, uh, very pretty heads. Um, mm -hmm. And there's a golden carriage which the king and queen will drive. So what does the king there. make a speech about? Because um, it's televised as well. Yeah, but the speech is written by the government, so it's a government oh, okay. speech. Is it about like the nation's like budget? And yeah. Oh, okay. Basically, <laughs> uh, he has not that much input into that one, but he, yeah. a, he can have a Christmas speech, and he has more input into that one. Oh, okay. Where he just like says, "Look around you, do better with nature, etc., etc." Et I mean, you should do better with nature. <laughs> Mm. 
even from just walking down this main street of Den Haag, Den Haag is so multicultural, no? Den Haag. Well, I'm not gonna scratch my throat trying to pronounce the Hague like that. <laughs> That's fine. Oh. You can smell the, the incense. Yeah, you can smell the incense. I'm saying it seems so multicultural with so many different ethnicities in the streets, but it also reflected in the small businesses around too. So I'm that makes me really happy. Because the Netherlands can be quite a homogeneous society, but it's really nice to see other cities being so diverse too. Look, 597. Where? There. 597. I don't see it. Yeah, see it. Oh. oh. I just thought it sounded legit if it's like far of the number. <laughs> That's why I believed you. <laughs> Such a cute market in the middle of the square. Oh my gosh, look, this shop has all these maps, vintage maps for the Netherlands. After my own heart and wallet, well, yeah. There's definitely more than meets the eye when it comes to Den Haag. I'm so glad to get out of our little Amsterdam bubble to explore what else is there in this beautiful country I now call home. One of the most well-known photograph spots in the Netherlands, the Peace Palace, literally, peace. All of that exploring. Yes, we're at Seafood Bar 19, which is a cute little place just off of the, one of the main squares of the Hague. And it's just nice to cozy up, especially from this cold weather, and to get some. Yeah, that's my turtleneck. Oh. <laughs> How do I eat now? <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> Wait for food and stay warm. Got all my favorite things in one bowl. We have some edamame, we have some tuna, salmon, avocado, seaweed. I'm gonna mix it all up with the radishes and So we are in Maurit House. Maurit House. Maurit House, which is a art museum. But we came for the art and then got shocked and stunned by the beautiful architecture. And now it feels like I'm in a palace. So, wow, look at all these different rooms. to play hide and seek in this place. Incredible. The Maritza's house is officially known as the Royal Picture Gallery. Its collection is made up of paintings dating from around 1400 to 1800 from Flemish, German, French, and majority Dutch work in the 17th century. 
This was a period of great prosperity, boasting famous painters such as Rembrandt, Jan Steen, and Vermeer on display here. It's kind of like Mona Lisa. Wherever you are in the room, it feels like her eyes are on you. It's Carol's Fabricius, the Goldfinch. Also from one of my favorite novels by Donna Tartt. It's incredible to be here to learn more about the Golden Age paintings from the Dutch masters. It shows the evolution of people being able to, when they start to get more wealthy in the golden age, and how regular people start to commission their own artwork, and then they wanted new kind of artwork, so it wasn't just about the church anymore. It was about farm, it was about new landscape, it was about everyday landscape. I'm all about the highs and the lows in culture, as you know. So I'm serving you highs up with the fine art and of the royal palaces and parliaments of Den Haag. But now I'm going to serve you some lowbrow of my guilty pleasure. Ooh, so we have. What are these? Spill. This is the Dutch delicacy that is served at McDonald's. Yeah. Uh, and it's a croquette. A croquette is a crunchy, fried uh, piece of deliciousness with filled with ragu. And the McDonald's has a little twist on it. Does it flat? With sauce. These are my favorite. Normally they're not flat. They're like uh, circular. Yeah. Circular. <laughs> but here they're flat and they're delicious. This is the best way to end the day because they're so warm, so fluffy, crunchy on the outside. Meltingly delicious on the inside that mm. After exploring so much art, the city can be happier. See Hussy, you think it's a little excessive that we got six mic croquettes? Not when we can finish them and they only go for one euro. Ah yes, that's the Special best. Deal today. Mm. I wouldn't mind for more after this too. And that was the hug. For now, at least, because we will always return to these beautiful cities and explore more. But we just wanted a little quick jaunt getaway for the day. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, I loved it too. It's so cozy in the winter here. Alright, so if you enjoyed this vlog, give this vlog a thumbs up, leave a comment below because we want to hear all about what you think of this great, great royal regal city. And if you haven't joined the Logi Saturday yet, hit subscribe and we'll see you in the next adventure.